والله بنتي كان عندها عمرها خمسة سنين لاحظنا أثناء السباحة في البحر كان عندها انحراف بسيط ما كانش قبل الخمسة سنين ما كانش عندها انحراف لكن لاحظنا الانحراف I have a back problem 85% spinal curve I was completely healthy when I was a baby I did not have any health conditions My favorite sport is uh, football. I played football in the field at school. The teacher didn't want me to play in the football team. He said to me, go out of the team. I felt sad, but I still played. نصحوني بعض الأصدقاء أن نمشي لتايلند وعطوني الإيميل متاع المستشفى وشفت الفيديوهات في الدكتور عطوني اسمه دكتور بترا وتو حاليا في المستشفى وش تاني The patient came with the severe back deformities. She got the curve at the back in the upper spine. Mainly about the surgery is the, um, we will put the screws in her spine and we're trying to manipulate it back, make it become as straight as it can be. But another challenging point is in most of the congenital scoliosis, there's some risk of nerve injuries because when we're trying to pull it very hard and the nerve can be pulled, so the challenging part is how can we restore the spine back to a better balance, a safety for the nerves. For this patient, the assessment shows she has more nutrition. She is underweight for her age. We learned some lab tests to mark any nutritional levels and some vitamin levels that we suspect her body could be lacking. The lab results show she had vitamin D deficiency. Our intervention plan, we advise her to follow the balanced diet, press proper vitamin and mineral supplements, as well as treatment for vitamin D deficiency. We also get her the oral nutritional supplement for her body to obtain the best state of nutrition before the surgery. It's very important to get a nutritional assessment. If patients have optimal nutritional status before the surgery, it will help with the wound healing process. It will decrease the chance of surgical site infections after the surgery. It also helps with a quick recovery and some of the medical complications could be reduced. We set up the multidisciplinary team conference and one of the, the important strategy is pre-operative rehabilitation programs. The program is mainly to improve patient strength flexibility, enhance respiratory function, as well as to improve cardiovascular fitness. She will attend the rehabilitation programs for a few weeks and I'm quite sure that the operation will run smoothly without any complication because I believe that behind every successful operation are from their preparation.
she walking around like 50 meters. She is doing well. She feels some tightness at her back, but overall her condition is fine. Actually, inside the operations, I think we can correct the curve up to about like from 87, 89. Now it's around like 67, 69. But about real curves will be after the patient is adapt herself to the after spine surgery. So the curve can be better. So we measure the curves again, maybe after like three to five days. We can do everything as we plan inside operations. She loves to play football. So she can play football when her spine is um, fully healed. So the screw and bone is already joined together very solid. So it will take at least about four to six months. And then when everything is completely healed, so she can do whatever she wants to do. Firstly, rehabilitation program is mainly to reduce the pain with the pain reduced modality. And of course, we also place an importance on post-operative complication prevention. Patient will be educated on proper body mechanics and movement technique to help prevent further injury and enhance healing process. For the next step, Rehabilitation program will focus on restoring mobility and functions to help patients return to daily activities more quickly without any complication and less discomfort. Finally, we will adjust the patient posture balance, enhance overall physical and mental well-being so she can freely live her life with joy and confidence, which is the main objective of her treatment.